Okay, so we're going to discuss order of operations, and we're going to show you a couple of examples that are tend to be more difficult. Okay, and we tend to see some pretty common mistakes. So we're going to go through um, order of operations. So the f just keep in mind what the order is. Remember, the first thing we do is uh, anything with parentheses. This could include grouping symbols. Remember, we do these from inside out. Okay. After parentheses, remember we take care of the exponents. So anything with exponents, we'll take care of that next. And then remember we're going to do multiplication and division. Now there's always a bit of confusion here because uh, we know the please excuse my dear, so everyone thinks that you know multiplication always comes before division. That's not true. You do, in, in, when you get to these two, you do whatever comes first. So if there's a division before a multiplication, you do the division first. And the same holds true with the last two. When we get to Aunt Sally, the addition and subtraction. So if there's a subtraction before an addition, you actually do the subtraction first. Okay. So keep those in mind. Let's go through an example. And the example is we're going to do 12 minus bracket 7 minus and then in parentheses 3 minus 6, let's close the bracket off now, plus, and then in parentheses 2 minus 3 to the third power. All right. So when we look at this, obviously we need to figure out what do we do first here. Well, we do have two sets of parentheses that we need to take care of. Okay, so we're going to do all the parentheses first. So we're going to 12 minus... 7 minus, and we do 3 minus 6, which is negative 3, plus, and while we're at it, let's take care of the other parentheses as well. We know that 2 minus 3 should come out to negative 1, so that means we're going to negative 1 to the third. Okay. Now we still have a grouping symbol, and this is what I was talking about. With the parentheses within this bracket, we take care of the parentheses first, and now we need to take care of that bracket. Okay, so it's going to be 12 minus. Now in the bracket we're going to do 7 minus negative 3, which we know is really 7 plus 3, and that's going to come out to 10. Okay. All right. So we're down to t uh, 12 minus 10 plus negative 1 to the third power. Okay, so now when we look at this, we need to know what to do next. By the way, we, even though there's still parentheses in this expression, when they talk about parentheses, it's any operations within parentheses. Okay, so technically, even though they're still here, we're done with the parentheses. So now we move on to the next thing. If we have any exponents, which we do, we need to do negative 1 to the third power. And we know that negative 1 to the third power is negative 1. So now we're down to, we have 12 minus 10 plus negative 1. Here's what I was talking about. The common mistake is to do the 10 plus negative 1. But remember, when you have addition and subtraction left, if the subtraction comes first, we actually do that. So let's do the 12 minus 10. That's going to give us 2. All right. And now we can finish this off. We have 2 plus negative 1. That's going to give us a 1. All right, I want to do one more example. Again, this tends to be pretty difficult. It's going to be 10 times negative 1 minus negative 2 times negative 3. And that's going to be the numerator of our fraction. We're going to put that all over 2, bracket, negative 8, divided by negative 2 minus 2. Of that bracket. All right. Now, when we have a fraction like this, what we want to do first, we're going to, we're going to simplify the numerator, so we're going to do everything on top, get it down to a single number. We'll then also do everything on the bottom on the denominator. We'll get that down to a single number. And then remember, fraction is another way of showing division, so we're just going to divide whatever we get in the end. Okay. So I'll do the numerator and denominator simultaneously. Okay. When you start up top, what we have to do first is, we don't have any, again, there's no operations within parentheses, even though we have them. 
right? with no operations. There's no exponents. So the next thing we notice is we have to multiply. And we'll take care of both of the multiplications here. So 10 times negative 1 is going to give us negative 10 minus, and then negative 2 times negative 3 gives us a positive 6. Okay, now on the bottom we have a parenthesis, so let's make sure we do that first. Okay, so then we got negative 8 divided by, and negative 2 minus 2 gives us a negative 4. Okay. So now all we have left on the numerator is just the negative 10 minus 6. That gives us the negative 16. On the bottom now we have the bracket, so we have the grouping symbol. Okay, so we have to take care of that next. So negative 8 divided by negative 4 gives us a positive 2. We still have to finish that off, so now we have 2 times 2. which is 4. So we've simplified the top, we got it down to negative 16, got it down to a single number. We've simplified the bottom, get it down to 4. Now all we have left to do is just divide those two numbers. And negative 16 divided by 4 is a negative 4.